Alright, it's a Glimpo here, back with another video for you guys, and the, the layout's a bit different, in it? Because I'm on FIFA. Yes, I do play FIFA, very, very rarely, but I'm playing FIFA. Now, in this video, as you can probably tell by the title, it is a Team of the Year prediction. Team of the Year is out very, 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 very soon, and uh, let's get right into this. So, we're going to make a new team. Oh, God, nope, I'm used to typing on Team... Oh, God, no, Team... I'm so used to typing just on PlayStation, not on this. Team of Da. No, God's sake. Yeah, there we go. Team of the year. Okay, so starting off, obviously, you need to you need to start off with your goalkeeper, don't you? Now, this is this is pretty pretty obvious who it's going to be. It's going to be this kid here, Manuel Neuer. Now, let me tell you some of these stats, Manuel Neuer has played in 17 games for Bayern Munich this season. He has made 28 saves overall, and out of those 17 games, he has had 11 clean sheets. That is a mad thing. He is a fantastic goalkeeper. He's only like 29 as well, so still got a few years in him. He is getting a bit older, but Ronaldo and all that were like uh, close to 29, so it doesn't really affect your career if you're a great player like Manuel Neuer is. Moving on, to the left back and in the left back you know there, there's not many players who it can actually be it's, it's gonna be Marcelo come on look he's he's just an, he's got an amazing card as it is but imagine that in team of the year 82 pace 84 defending 85 dribbling 83 physical some of his stats read as he has played 16 games now obviously as a defender you're not going to be getting many goals but he has got two goals and two assists that's pretty decent for a left back I'd say and then He's had 11 shots, showing that he's not a clinical striker, but you do not expect that from a left back. Now, next to Marcelo, we are, in fact, going to go with his teammate, the rock, the brick, that is Sergio Ramos. Now, Sergio Ramos, obviously, again, he's not a striker, so the, the centre-backs and left-backs aren't going to have many goals, but he's played 11 games, He's play, he's got one goal, one assist and he's had 12 shots so obviously again not a clinical striker but he is still a brick look at that card how can you go wrong with 79 pace on a center back 87 defending and 81 physical you, you can't go wrong you can't go wrong and if you're telling me you can go wrong then you're wrong and the next center back guys is the partner in crime of Manuel Neuer this would be an amazing center back pairing Jerome Boateng just Look at that card. I know I'm saying this for all the cards because all of these players are world-class players and would have world-class cards. But just look at him. His stats aren't, like, particularly amazing because he's played 16 in, in the Bundesliga for Bayern Munich and he started 14 of those games. So he's missed two starts. That's, that's literally it. But he hasn't actually got any goals. But as a centre-back, you don't want to be getting goals. What, there's, like, three goals between these two? And the, two of those are from Marcelo. Well, two of them has to be from one person if it's between two people making three. But anyway, Jerome Boateng, he's just one of those bricks who stops goals. Like, he's not there to score. He's not there to look fancy. He's not there to get up and down. He's just there to sit in the defence and just boss it. He can keep up with the fast strikers with that 80 pace. And that 86 physical... I, I don't think... Oh, my God. He's just... He's a beast. He's a beast. We can all just admit that. Next up in the team, guys, we we have we have pretty much just one right back. Can't be Danny Alves because, to be fair, he doesn't really deserve it most years. But he has got it quite a few times, and it has been quite controversial. So we're gonna go with Philip Lam. He's just always there. There's gonna be a few Bayern Munich players in this. I think this might be the last one, but there might still be a few more. But by Bayern Munich have a solid team that's basically that's basically why their defense is solid midfield is solid with like Vidal and everything like that and then up front they've got Ribéry, Robben and Lewandowski third best strike force in the world obviously behind Real Madrid and Barcelona's but we'll get on to that later little sneak peek but his stats in the Bundesliga are that he's played 14 games and he started every single one of those 14 games and he's had one goal. Obviously, defenders, goals aren't going to be high. They're not going to be amazing. You're not going to be like, oh my God, he scored one goal. That is dramatic. No, because the defenders, they're doing the job that they're meant to do. And also something I didn't pick up on when I put Jerome Boateng in, I have changed it to a 4-3-3. That is to contribute for those attacking forces of the Liga BBVA. You guys know what I'm talking about. Am I right or am I right, lads? Next up in the team, guys, now we have moved 
on to the midfield. And there's there's one young talent that sticks out more than anything else. This guy sticks out like a sore thumb. He's one of the he's I think he actually is the only yeah, I think he's the only BPL player in this team. And if you guys haven't guessed by now, then I don't know what you've been doing. It is of course De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. How I'm gonna put his cam card in because he's right mid obviously don't don't look right in a centre mid spot. How can you not? He's he's been one of the best players in the BPL. As you've just seen there, he has three inform cards already in this FIFA. For three inform cards in about three months. That is ridiculous. That shows true talent. He's done nothing but improve when he moved to the BPL. He was all right at Wolfsburg. Comes to the BPL. He's one of the best players in the league already. He's played 16 games, five goals, had eight to si had eight assists. But he's taken 30 shots, so obviously he's not that clinical. But as a centre mid, you want to be getting those assists, and he's got eight. And I can't remember when this was last updated on the website. I'm using, but nevertheless. He still has a lot of assists and stuff like that. Let's move on to the next centre midfielder. The next centre midfielder, guys. Okay, so guys, th this guy... It brings a little bit of a tear to my eye as a Man United fan. He's another young talent. And we... We just shouldn't have let him go, okay? we. It doesn't make me happy. Because... He's such an amazing fucking player and then we go and get rid of him and it has to be of course no i'll just type his name in it is paul pogba what a beast this kid is 88 physical you know he goes gym on an everyday basis he's just he's just in the gym and for some reason the website that i use for all the other stats hasn't showed his stats like they usually do so i'm looking down Siri it says game started 17 um goals four so that's that's not bad and then three assists so again he's just an amazing player these two are up and coming talents they are going to be amazing in the future they're amazing now as it is so imagine what they're going to be like when they're in the primes of like 25 and stuff like that paul pog was 22 i can't remember what de bruyne's age was but i think he's i think he's 21 or something like that so they're very close in age but they're both very beastly and look they're both extremely oh 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 tease it oh tease it they are both very strong lads 80 physical and 88 physical they're just both well-rounded cards it's just insane let's move on to the final yes the final central midfielder now we went on a little stint with no liga bbva players but you, you just knew it was gonna come back because liga bbva has some of the best players in the world and this this guy he's moving on a bit but it is andres iniesta he is he's such a great player he's getting a bit old he got that world cup winner if you guys remember against the um, netherlands in the 2010 world cup in south africa last minute goal and it was just beast and his stats read as 11 games one goal one assist and 10 shots so pretty not really good stats but he's just a beast anyway guys we are now moving on to the strike force now this was hard for me to pick because i could either have gone with who i almost 100 percent know is gonna make it or i could go with who i think is gonna make it now the reason why i'm saying that is because there's two players in this left in this left wing spot who are possible now both of them have had amazing seasons one of them has done incredible for what's gonna happen like in their career but the other one is just a sure he's just almost 100 percent gonna be in this team of the year he always is always more than likely will be for as long as for as long as he's playing so yep you guys probably guessed who it is already in this left wing spot we are going with cristiano ronaldo my other option was neymar because look they both have the exact same amount of cards neymar's had a, an amazing season royce has had a good season as well but neymar's been way better than him pardon me and then look, ronaldo like you can't you can't not 
pick Ronaldo in a team of the year team. Like, it's not like it's never going to happen. He's always going to be in the team. Now, the stats for Ronaldo just pretty much say it all. Now, he has played 19 games in La Liga. He has played 25 in all competitions, with six of those being in the Champions League. Now, out of those 25 appearances, he also has 25 goals, with 14 out of 19 games in the La Liga, like in the league, and then out of Champions League, he's got 11 out of six. That's almost two goals a game in the Champions League, versus the top top European teams from the different European leagues and getting almost two goals a game that is mad and then in all competitions he's also got 10 assists with seven of those being in La Liga and three of those being in Liga well in Champions League you just you can't say that Ronaldo isn't going to be in it and guys the other show for in for team of the year you know it's, it's got to be Messi like how can how can it not be Messi? Ronaldo and Messi, there's always this big argument: who's better, Ronaldo or Messi? My personal opinion is Ronaldo, not just based on like because oh he has more inform cards this year, or oh he had more inform cards last year, or oh he won the Ballon d'Or last year. That's just a few examples of why Ronaldo is better. But overall, I think in his career, he's just he's just done like a lot more. Like goals wise, he's got more goals, and not even just that. Ronaldo is just a beast. Like, I'm not just saying this as a Man United fan, I'm not being biased or anything. Messi is still an amazing, incredibly gifted player. But I just think Ronaldo edges it a little bit more because anything Ronaldo, anything that Messi is good at, he's the best at in the world. Like, dribbling, he's the best dribbler. He can weave in and out of players. But Ronaldo, he's probably second best dribbler. Or maybe, maybe third. He's, he's definitely in the top three dribblers. Skill moves, they've both got him. Ronaldo's probably better at him. Power, Ronaldo's got more power. T like, strength, Ronaldo's got way more strength. Ronaldo's way taller so he can get more headers. He's just the complete attacking player, whereas Messi's more of the certain situation. In fact, it is a lot of situations that he gets himself into, but he has to... He has the talent to create them all by himself, whereas Ronaldo, he has, he has the exact same talent, but it might not be as much dribbling. It might be more stepovers, which Ronaldo is quite famed for. It might be the Ronaldo chop, more skill moves. It's more pleasing on the eye, but let's just get into Messi's stats because I've just done a big, long talk on why I think Ronaldo's better, but anyone who says Messi, I, it's a totally valid opinion. I totally understand where you're coming from. Now, Messi has played 21 games this season. He's played 13 in La Liga three in the Champions League and then five in other other cups such as Copa del Rey, the Spanish Super Cup, UEFA, blah de blah de blah. Just anything anything like that, just the local like South American tournament tournaments that obviously he can do but Ronaldo can't because Portugal and Argentina's a better team. So obviously that's an excuse for Ronaldo not being able to do good on international levels. Just just shut up, okay? No, don't don't, don't bully me, okay? So out of those certain amount of games that he's played, he's got a total of 18 goals with 9 in La Liga, 3 in Champions League and then 6 in other cups being the ones that I've already mentioned. And he's only got 7 assists, so he's got 4 in La Liga, 1 in Champions League, 2 in other cups, blah de blah de blah But comparing the results, Ronaldo has 4 more appearances, but then he also has 7 more goals which I would say is better. In the La Liga, he's had six more appearances and he's had a total of five more goals. So Messi might say in the La Liga he's doing better, but he's also had three more assists in the league. And then they've both, he's had six appearances, Ronaldo has had six appearances in the Champions League. Messi's had three, three goals for Messi, 11 for Ronaldo. So as Messi's getting a good average of one goal a game, Ronaldo's almost popping in two a game. So it's just mad, and then obviously other cups. If Ronaldo part like did any other cups, because he's not even got appearances in him. So if he did appear in other cups, then he would have just blown Messi's stats out of the water, and that's just why I think he's better. But let let me just stop this debate because you guys are probably gonna be like, no, Messi's better. Or, I agree, and then all all hell's gonna break loose because oh everyone has to be wrong. But no, that's just my opinion. It's your opinion. It's up to you guys who you. I said I was gonna stop doing this whole debate, but. Right, I am. Let's move on to the striker. Guys, you guys... Guys, you guys? You guys have probably already guessed who this striker is going to be. 
He's had a fantastic season in Liga BBVA. I did say when I got to Iniesta, it was only La Liga players from on, from now on. And it, it, this guy, he's he's just got to be team of the season, team of the team of team of the year. Have I, have I ever been saying team of the season this whole time? Team of the year, if I've ever said team of the season, I'm sorry, I'm a fuckwit. But it, it's Luis Suarez. Look at that. Three informs already. It could have been Lewandowski because of the five goals in nine minutes, you know, the, the maddest thing that anyone's ever seen on a football pitch. But it had to be Luis Suarez because he's been not as good as the five goals in nine minutes because, you know, that is exceptional. But he has been more consistent with how good he's been like Lewandowski he's good every single game but Suarez he's amazing every single game just listen to these stats right in in the league in the league he's played 17 games now in a league situation it's very very hard because you're versing teams that over the years will get to know your play style and they'll be suited to defending you and knowing what shots you go for all the time like wearing padding so you don't bite them and hurt them or anything so 17 games 15 goals that's almost a goal a game in the league that is redonkulous that is actually an amazing amazing statistic five assists with 64 shots but you know who cares who who cares if he's not getting every single shot in that's probably like long shots or something it's probably where he's passed it and it might have gone out or something and they've classed it as a shot. I don't, I don't know. I don't watch League of BBB. I barely watch football, to be honest. I used to watch it a lot, but now I don't watch it as much. I just go around to my sisters every, like, a few weekends and maybe watch a Man United game. And that's pretty much it for the football I watch. So I've just been... <laughs> this whole prediction has just been me thinking, oh, this player would probably be in it. And then just going on to stats and finding out the stats but anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video then please press that like button and that subscribe button and i want to see how many of these i get right i think the strike force is almost definite Neuer almost definite Boateng should definitely be in there ramos he has a good chance marcelo has a good chance lam has a good chance de bruyne should definitely be in there from what i've seen of him playing for man city he's been absolutely brilliant paul pogba i don't know what season he's having iniesta he's just a class player anyways so yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.